In episode 12 of Windbreaker, Tsugayura, Nirei, and Kiryu supporting Suo's nomination of Sakura for grade captain. Despite Sakura's initial reluctance, the entire class agrees, leading Suo to volunteer himself and Nirei as Sakura's secondaries. As Sakura reflects on recent events, Renkaji interrupts, urging him to accept the role, stating that perfection isn't expected from the start. Takashi reveals to Sakura that Kaji is the second year's grade captain. Although embarrassed, Sakura accepts the role with the support of his classmates. He, Suo, and Nirei exchange contact information with the other grade captains and their secondaries. Takashi advises Sakura to lead by doing what he wants, but Sakura struggles with this, revealing his uncertainty. Later, Kaji and the others are approached by an older woman seeking help to find a lost child. Kaji, despite his frustration, promises to help and delegates the task to Kasumi. Sakura and his friends are taken aback by Kaji's demeanor. A cat jumps off Sakura's head, and Takashi reveals this cat, Risa, is the girl they were looking for. Sakura climbs a wall to chase the cat, impressing his friends. Kaji, initially shocked by Sakura's actions, eventually helps retrieve the cat from the river. After returning the cat to its owner, Sakura questions Kaji about his motivations for being grade captain. Kaji admits he didn't want the role but took it on because of his friends, resonating with Sakura's own doubts. Kaji explains that despite his shortcomings, his secondaries support him, and he strives to live up to their expectations. This conversation inspires Sakura, who begins to doubt himself less. Nirei then approaches Sakura, calling him reliable and affirming their support for him. They encourage Sakura to count on them in return. Later, at Kotoha's cafe, Sakura reveals his sleeplessness due to overthinking Kaji's words. Kotoha advises him to start small, like learning everyone's names in his class. Initially resistant, Sakura realizes he hasn't called anyone by their proper names. Back at school, Sakura asks Nirei for help with names, struggling but determined. Soon, an announcement calls all first and second year grade captains and secondaries to the roof for a meeting. Overwhelmed, Sakura is relieved when Nirei offers to help, having memorized everyone's names in the school to support Sakura. Suo volunteers as the negotiator of their group, leveraging his social skills. Embarrassed but determined, Sakura addresses his friends by their names for the first time. In the end, Omemiya and the four kings of Furin, along with their secondaries, makes their appearance. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.